Hello, it's Karen here. I'm just going to do another quick live video with a technique that I was playing around with last night. Um, it's something that I've seen other people do, but I've never actually tried it myself. So I thought I'd give it a go and I was really quite pleased with the results. So here you can see uh, a couple of the backgrounds I created. I want to show you how to do background techniques using um, a little bit of glycerin when you are blending your inks because it gives you really, really lovely um, results. So I'm just going to sit myself down, get started with that. My tablet's being naughty again and I still can't see what's being broadcast, if anything. Uh, let me just go back and back in again. Oh yeah. Seem to be there now. So, right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I've got a selection of inks in front of me. I have got Mango Melody, which is this one here. I'm just going to get all my ink pads open and I've got a, uh, a bit of sponge for each one. I've got Grapefruit Grove. I've got some Rich Razzleberry. And I've also got some Knight of Navy. So the, the real magic to making this technique work is glycerin. This is super, super cheap stuff. It's available from pharmacies. I think I got mine from our local boots. It was about £1.30 for the bottle. And you need the tiniest, tiniest amount. Now, I was going to try and find out a pipette before I got started, but I haven't. So I'm just going to have to be ever so careful and drip, um, drip this onto my work surface. I'm working on a slick surface. I've got my glass mat here um, so that um, I can drip things onto it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try and very, very carefully just, I just literally want one drip. Come on, one drip. There we go. Just one drip. And I'm going to start with the Mango Melody. So I'm going to get a nice bit of ink onto my sponge and I'm going to mix that around with my glycerin. And what this does, I think it, the, the glycerin has got kind of a viscous texture and it just helps things glide across the top of your paper. So I'm going to start with just literally going backwards and forwards. I'm not being careful. I've started about a third of the way up of the piece of cardstock and I'm just applying a generous amount on there. So that's lovely. That's given me a lovely base orange colour. And then in between colours, I'm just going to use a baby wipe and a cloth to clear up so that I get a, a true colour each time. So I'm going to try and pour myself one more drop of glycerin. Wish me luck. Oh, there we go. And next I'm using Grapefruit Grove. So I've got a good amount of ink on my Grapefruit Grove. I'm going to mix that around with my glycerin. And I'm now going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to come in towards the top of the Mango Melody. So obviously I'll, I want to try and create a level of sunset here. So I'm just going to lightly go all the way over. And I think I might actually like a little bit stronger colour, so I've gone back in for a bit more ink. Okay, so give everything a bit of a wipe dry it off with my cloth and one more drip of glycerin please bottle be nice to me yes there we go so next now I'm going in with some rich razzleberry so this is to give me that lovely nice pink bit right at the top of the sky as the sun's going down over our tropical island so there we go now I start to add this in from the top and go part of the way down Hope you're all having a really lovely bank holiday. I'm just noticing my arms are aching a bit actually. From uh, I've spent quite a lot of um, time out in the garden. I'm just going to go back in now with the grapefruit grove. Just could see I I wanted a bit more of a blend. So you go backwards and forwards over each of the colours. Um, there we go. So just going to clean up the surface again. 
clean up with the towel again. And now I, oh, I think I might clean up my thumb while I'm at it before I end up getting ink absolutely everywhere. And now I'm going to go in with some Knight of Navy across the bottom just to give us our deep blue sea. So one final drip of glycerin, please, bottle. Come on, just one little drop. That's all I'm after. There we go. Lovely. So going in with some Knight of Navy now. And just hopefully ensuring my hands are relatively clean to hold the top part that I've already inked. And now we'll go in now along the bottom with our Knight of Navy. Trying to make a relatively straight line because that will be our horizon. There we go. So we've got a nice deep blue sea. So that's a way that we can use a um, this glycerin product. So... I think you can get it in, um, you can definitely get it in supermarkets in the cookery section, I think, but I don't know if it's the same stuff. Never actually tried, but I know that this stuff from that I got from Boots works an absolute treat. So I'm just going to do a little clear up again now. And then I'm going to get my Memento Black Ink out and my Stamparatus to add the Desert Island um, detail to my... my um, inked background so it does the colors do dry off a little bit if I compare it to this one which was exactly the same colors you can see that the color actually smooths off as it dries and it also lightens a touch so don't be afraid to to get in there with a decent amount of ink because it will lighten up a little bit over time and because it's glycerin as well it's not water-based um, I don't believe so it can be used on even just our normal standard whisper white cardstock it doesn't have to be any kind of specialist cardstock so uh, the next thing I'm going to do I've got my stamps already set up and very nicely sticking together on my stamparatus so I'm just going to I'm going to move that one out of the way so Stamparatus is a lovely stamp positioning tool and it's really awesome for this, for lots and lots of different techniques, but I'm using it specifically for this particular job today because I want to make sure that I've got a really, really, really lovely black um, image to my island. And I'm thinking actually I may need to move it down a little touch. So what we'd do is I've laid my, my coloured piece in the corner of my Stamparatus um, because that means I know I've got a really nice solid base to work with. I'm going to lay my stamp where I want it and I want it meeting the horizon and slightly off to one side. I'm then going to close the lid of my Stamparatus to pick up the stamp. It will pick up the paper because it's a, a sticky kind of photopolymer stamp, but that's OK because you can just pop your cardstock back into the corner. I'm now going to ink this up with Memento ink, a lovely dark black dye based ink. And having it in my Stamparatus is going to allow me to go backwards and forwards several times and I'll end up in exactly the same place and I can get myself a really lovely solid black image. So I'll just go in again, a bit more ink this time, make sure that cardstock's right there in the corner and then give it another little press down. So you'll see there it's come down again in exactly the same place and given me a really lovely solid black image. So I will give that a wipe so I don't get dirty fingers and I will dry it off with my towel as well and the next thing I want to do so the Stamparatus it's got two sides it's almost like having um, two ink blocks and it means I don't have to move anything I now want to place my palm tree trunks and I'll stamp my little beach hut all at the same time. So I'm just ensuring that the bottoms of those stamps overlap the black island that I've already stamped just a little bit. That way I know that there's going to be a nice smooth transition between the island and the buildings. So I'm now going to ink those up as before I'm using my Memento Black Ink. And just press those down there 
have a look. Yeah, I'd like them a little bit darker, so I'm going to go in again and make sure my card's in the corner. Stamp again. Beautiful. And finally, I'm going to go in with my palm tree tops. Now, because the Stamparatus comes with two plates, it effectively gives you four stamping surfaces, which is great when you want to make multiples of things. So I'm just going to go in as before. I hope my head's not in the way. It shouldn't be. Um, go in as before and I'm going to overlap the palm trees just ever so slightly with the trunks. And then I close my lid. That means I've picked my stamps up exactly where I want them. And ink away. Tap, tap, tap. Sure, the cardstock's in the corner. Close the lid of my Stamparatus. Apologies if I said another brand name earlier. I might have done. <laughs> it's because I used to have another brand name before I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but I prefer this over and above, to be quite honest. You can do so much more with it. There we go. So I'll just get that Stamparatus out of the way. So now... Uh, we've got a, oh, I don't think, no, if I even mentioned the stamp set I was using, I was using the waterfront stamp set. It's got lots of different images for building up lots of different types of um, scenery, which is great. Um, so now we've got our lovely desert island um, back with a beautiful sunset background. And I think this would actually look really good mounted on a black card base. There we go. Um, you could add a sentiment if you wish to. There are several sentiments in the set we could use or any other sentiment that you happen to have. Or you could just leave it blank and put your own sentiment inside. So um, so that's the glycerin ink blending technique. Um, do give it a go. It really re has revolutionised my ink blending. I mean, I was a reasonable good in ink blender anyway. It takes a lot of practice, but this just really gives a lovely, lovely smooth blend between mm. one colour and another. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching whether that be live or a bit later on. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy the rest of your lovely bank holiday. I mean, four days of sunshine in the UK. Who actually even thought that was possible? Um, I shall be going for a walk later in some lovely bluebell woods with some friends and I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, catch you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.